Welcome back. Significant details today in the Russia investigation. We're hearing from the man behind the Trump dossier in his own words. We now know what Glenn Simpson, the founder of Fusion GPS, the firm that commissioned this, the alleged dossier, told congressional investigators. This is our first substantial peek into what Fusion GPS was doing, how they carried out their investigation, what U.S. authorities knew when, at least as far as they were concerned. Judiciary Committee Ranking Member Dianne Feinstein released the transcript of the Simpson testimony today against the wishes of a Republican counterpart, the chairman of the committee, Chuck Grassley. Feinstein's unilateral move comes just days after Grassley, without full committee support on his end, raised the possibility of criminal charges against Christopher Steele, the author of the dossier. Democratic Senator Chris Coons called this breakdown between Grassley and Feinstein the end of the committee's bipartisan cooperation on the Russia investigation. That is something we will dig into later in the show. But joining me now is my colleague Ken Delanian, NBC News Intelligence and National Security Reporter. And Ken, your job today for the entire network was to go through the Simpson testimony and find the stuff that we didn't know that we need to know that help us understand this better. So the biggest thing you learned from this testimony, go. Was that Christopher Steele, the British, former British intelligence operative who was doing this research with his Russian sources, sat down with the, his FBI contact in Rome in September. But by that, to, to debrief and to explain what he had found. And by the way, he had found that he believed that Donald Trump was in thrall to Russian intelligence and that Russian intelligence was cooperating with the Trump campaign. This is unproven, but this is what he thought. This is what Steele thought by September of 16. And he passed this on to the FBI. But the, and the FBI's reaction was, that's very interesting. We've already heard something very troubling along these lines. And we now know what that is. That's an Australian diplomat who had passed on that he had had drinks with this guy named George Papadopoulos, right. a campaign aide, who somehow knew that the Russians had Democratic emails well before any of us knew this. And so the FBI had already begun an investigation. They didn't tell Steele that, though. And Steele ultimately grew disillusioned. He thought the FBI wasn't taking it very seriously. Um, the other th development I want to ask you about, though, was this idea that According to Glenn Simpson, Steele was so concerned that he went to the FBI much sooner than any of us knew, that he went to the FBI in June or July. Yes, well, I actually, I had known that, that he first reached out to them in July, but apparently he didn't have this full debrief with his friend until September. I mean, really, this whole thing demystifies what had been a, sh a shadowy sort of saga here, right. this opposition research firm. Glenn Simpson is a former Wall Street Journal reporter. He approached this like you or I would. He looked right. at Donald Trump. He saw a lot of shady businessmen around Donald Trump. He started compiling, you know, what he thought was, what many of us did during the campaign, interesting business transactions. One thing I found interesting was the way Simpson positioned his, what, how he was looking at He was purely looking at this as an opposition research um, assignment. That's right. And it's Steele that said, this is bigger than that. I have to go to the FBI. That's right. That was, struck me, Simpson didn't even realize, it seems, the seriousness of what he had. Steele said, look, I am a national security professional first. I'm a British subject. My allies are the Americans. I'm deeply concerned here that the, potentially the next president mm -hmm. could be compromised by our adversary. I have a duty to warn. And so that's why he reached out to the FBI. Uh, the other thing is he defended, obviously, Fusion GPS's work. There was clearly some very partisan style questioning of him, yeah. like, you know, who's a Democrat, you're, this was a Democratic firm, you're this, this, and this, none of which this firm is. Well, they were hired first by Republicans, right. then Democrats took over the case. They were also working for a Russian oligarch in a New York case, so that's very controversial. Look, these guys are guns for hire. They'll work for whoever that's pays them. That's what it sounds like. But they have a good reputation. The facts speak for themselves, and they're standing behind their work. All right, let's get behind the sort of the process of this. Chris Kuhn said, this is over. I mean, this comes. So Diane Feinstein appears to be retaliating, if you will, for what she thought was uh, what Chuck Grassley and Lindsey Graham did the, before the weekend, some of which that Senator Graham and I went through um, uh, a lot on, on Sunday and meet the press. But the criminal, uh, the, the fact that they uh, filed a criminal um, suggestion, I guess you would have suggested that there should be a criminal uh, inquiry or referral uh, to the Justice Department on Christopher Steele. And they did that unilaterally. That was two Republicans without consulting the Democrats. The Democrats were furious that that happened. So this is the revenge. Yeah, this is the revenge. I mean, Feinstein hasn't said that, but it, you well know she's an institutionalist. She doesn't take steps like this lightly. Unilaterally releasing confidential testimony was a big deal, and it's blown up the partisan relationship on this committee. All right, so the House Intelligence investigation is essentially shot because Nunes and Schiff don't, are, are not working with each other very well. 
Now the Senate Judiciary Committee's investigation looks like it's shot now, if, if Grassley. So there's the only one left where there seems to be bipartisan buy-in still is Senate Intel. And it's all on Senator Richard Burr of North Carolina, who must be getting a lot of pressure from Republicans who don't like this inquiry. But so far he has stood firm and he's working with Mark Warner, the Democrat. And Mark Warner's not getting everything he wants, but they have this relationship of trust mm -hmm. so far. Stay tuned. All right, Ken Delanian. It is... Um in a day of improbable news, this one was one they were like, uh-oh, yeah. how about Easy. that? Anyway, Ken, uh, lots of developments to keep track of. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.